Hi everyone, welcome to the Azure Enablement Show. In today's episode, we will discuss how to successfully integrate Azure OpenAI into a compliant and secure production environments with optimum performance and efficiency. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Harshita. Joining us today is Freddie Ayala, who is a cloud solution architect with Microsoft France. Freddie is an expert at combining uh, OpenAI and ML concepts into the well-architected framework. Freddie and I will talk about uh, Azure OpenAI landing zone deployments for enterprise-grade applications. So uh, it's a pleasure having you with us today, Freddie. Please join us. Hello, Harshita. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure. I'm very eager to discuss about OpenAI and landing zones. Awesome. Uh, can you tell our builders why we need a landing zone for Azure OpenAI workloads? Of course, Harshita. An Azure landing zone functions as a fundamental framework for your AI projects. We can also call it a reference architecture because it proposes established best practices and guidance related to networking, security, and governance. This set of standards will serve as a reference point for the deployment and integration of your different products. Furthermore, the landing zone will help you to ensure regulatory compliance. It will reinforce security measures, optimize scalability, and mitigate operational risk. It will direct you towards a seamless integration of Azure OpenAI with other services. So for new customers, it offers a structured guidelines for deploying end-to-end -end solutions. For existing clients, it serves as a reliable reference point for the integration of OpenAI into your current environment. Awesome. Uh, we want to know how this landing zone is integrated with OpenAI workloads. So can you show our builders uh, uh, how this integration works in a whiteboard? Sure, it would be my pleasure. I'm going to share my screen. Here we are looking at an Azure landing zone reference architecture. In this architecture, we have a hierarchy. The following hierarchy will allow us to deploy our different resources following the best practices. So normally we have the management groups, we have the subscriptions that are related to the different domains such as identity management, connectivity, and so on. For the connectivity, we have a hub and spoke topology where we have the different networking solutions that will be connected to on-premise, for example, using express routes or VPN. The entry point is that you will be able to use a Azure Firewall to secure the connections and you have other resources such as DNS resolvers and private ending zones. Further on, we have the AI resources here that are connected using what we call the VNet peering. With that, you are able to access the resources from on-premise and vice versa. Further on, Azure OpenAI is the star at the center of it all that is able to connect to your own data, for example, storing your storage accounts in uh, cognitive services, such as cognitive search. And if for our use case, we're going to present a demo further on about a web chat application that is going to be deployed using Azure Web App. Furthermore, other services such as Key Vault to store credentials, to store secrets, CosmoDB to store the chatbot chat history. And we're going to secure the communication of OpenAI and all the other services uses using private endpoints. Further on, API management can be used as a layer to manage the OpenAI API and everything can be published in a secure way using application gateway with a web application firewall, the WAF. In this sense, you are able to access OpenAI from on-prem and also you can publish this to your external clients. Wow, oh, this has been very informative, uh, Freddy. Uh, can you uh, show us as a demo of uh, an example deployment of a secure chatbot application uh, uh, using all the concepts that we just discussed? Since we don't have enough time to do a complete demo, I'm going to take a shortcut. I'm going to share with you infrastructure as code mm -hmm. using Terraform, where you can able to go to this link that we'll provide below. You can download this code on your own, investigate a bit, and you're able to deploy this whole environment. We have very detailed descriptions here how to do this step-by-step. Step. So the steps in general would be, you would go into this GitHub. So that is the first step. The second step is you would go into any environment, for example, your own Azure environment, and you can use the commands Terraform init to initialize the code, Terraform plan to pre-visualize what you're going to deploy, and then when you do Terraform apply, you will be able to see all your deployment. So what will be the end result? You have all the resources deployed on Azure, 
And if you want to go further, you will be able to see that now, what do you have? You will have your very own chat. So here it is. Thanks for the great demo. Um, so to learn more about uh, uh, the solution that we discussed, uh, the, uh, what resources do we have for our viewers? So for those wanting to learn more about Azure OpenAI and Landing Zones, I recommend to check Microsoft official guides. You have Microsoft Learn. Also, you can explore Azure Learning Paths for specific modules, and you can find practical code examples on the different GitHub repositories that we're going to share. Thanks, Freddy. Uh, as uh, all the links that Freddy mentioned are available in the description section of the video, so please check out below. Thank you very much. I strongly encourage you to give it a go. Immerse yourself in experimenting with Azure OpenAI. Take this opportunity to explore the features, play around with the functionalities, familiarize yourself with the solution. This hand-on experience will not only deepen your understanding, but also empower you to make the most of these powerful tools. Don't hesitate to dive in and discover the, dif the different possibilities that await. Awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Freddy, for joining us today. Uh, we hope this session gave you a good understanding of Azure OpenAI landing zones. Uh, thank you for joining us and have a, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.